Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel again. Welcome back to part two of ranking all my truly me American girl dolls. And yes, like I said in my previous video, the video was very, very, very long. It was about 48 minutes long. So that's why I decided to split it into two parts and not bore you guys with one whole thing of me talking. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started right where we left off. And yeah, so here we go. Uh, Truly Me 57 is going to be a C rank for me. Just because I like the haircut and she kind of looks like she could be like my kid's cousin, maybe, right? Very cute. Um, okay, Truly Me 58. I actually own the stall, you guys. I actually got her uh, earlier this year, back in March, I believe, right before they retired her. And I can't tell you how much I love this doll. She is super cute. She is my, uh, I named her Nima in my collection. So there she is. Uh, Truly Me 59, I don't really care for. Truly Me number 60, actually. Um, yes, I put her up here and you know why. It's because she has light blue eyes. Um, and I actually like the light blue eyes with the black hair in this combination. I really do find it appealing. I've seen this doll in person at the AG store many, many times, but I just never got her. And I probably won't now because she is retired. Um, truly me number what is it, 61. Um, my boyfriend has this doll. I've seen her in person. I think the stock photo actually looks better than the doll. I don't like the doll in person if that makes any sense but I do think she's cute but didn't like her in person weird number 62 I've actually wanted um, I really like the Sonali mold with the black hair and kind of like I think she has layers or I think it's just short I think it's like a longer bob I don't know if any of you guys have her please let me know it looks kind of like layered here but I might be wrong and um, but she's super cute though I love her. Moving on, we have number 63. I never found interest in her. I don't even think I ever saw her in person. Um, number 64. Oh, wow. She looks so different here. Okay. Um, so she is here. Number 64 looks very different, you guys. I don't know if maybe they revamped her. Revamped her sorry. Um, in the more recent years because my 64 does not look anything like this she has like short hair like up to like her neck or like up to like her um her shoulders it is not this long but if you guys have this variation i am very interested to see or to know because i like this variation a lot okay um number 65 actually is going to be up here for me again um, just dolls that I like probably will never get her it was just a doll that I had planned to get a long time ago back in 2021 I remember seeing her so much and I thought she was really pretty never got her so yeah 66 um, is gonna be over here because I love the Sonali mold no wait oh gosh I am so sorry so sorry so sorry I am so sorry you're going back down here girl she is a Josefina mold, but from here look like a Sonali mold. So I'm sorry, she's there. <laughs> 67, I think uh, she's just gonna be here. She's super cute, but um, I'm not a fan of the super, super tight curls um, just because I've had trouble with my Courtney. Um, keeping up with those curls can be a little bit tedious sometimes so that's why she's down here um 68 another doll that i don't really care for number 69 funny story i am so sorry she's gonna go here funny story is that number 69 was supposed to be my look-alike because um i felt like i kind of looked like her kind of like this olive light skin tone with black hair brown eyes but i i ended up returning her you guys i i just did um the uh what is this truly me 70 71 72 and 73 um i really feel like these dolls can be really good for customization for maybe like adding wigs if you wanted to 
um i've never had i've never owned uh one of the uh ball dolls so if you guys have one please let me know i've i'm putting them down here just for the fact that um i do like the molds of course and i love the skin tones but i never had any interest in these um because uh, me i'm an avid like hair player i love to play with hair and style and stuff so that's pretty much why um okay moving on to the boys um i never really cared for this boy right here um i, I just i don't like him um okay he's gonna go up here because i wish i would have gotten him and now he is gone jeez <sighs> um i really liked him I love this guy, this boy right here. Okay, you guys, number um, 76. I swear to God, he looked like my boyfriend when he had short hair. Like, this was just exactly him. And I really wanted to get it, to get him, to name him after that. But then, of course, he retired. And then he was way gone before they retired, like, most of the boys. So, yeah, because I don't even think they have this guy. And he's super cute and i like his hair and of course the addy mold and he is gone so yeah okay uh moving on we have number 78 she looks a lot like my truly me number 24 so that's why she's going down here uh 79 is another jess mold um i hate her stock photo maybe that's why it's making me not want her because her eyes look kind of like they're facing down so that's why she's right here for me so i might be wrong if you have her let me know uh truly me number 80 i think she is retired and she's actually not in c she's actually going to be in b i actually own this doll and um funny story or fa uh fun fact is that um i had her with the with the bad eyes so what i did is i took her head apart and i took her eyes out and i did an eye swap and guess what it turned out to be exactly the same because the eyes were just not good so she still has bad eyes <laughs> so sadly okay truly me number 81 actually is going to be in c for me because i actually had planned planned to get her i thought she was very cute she has a brown eyes with like light skin and like caramel looking uh wavy hair i think super cute um okay moving on we have number 82 i don't like this doll you guys um if you guys have her like please let me know the difference um i've seen this doll in person and maybe the ones that i had seen on display that they had there the ones that you were able ag american girl used to have dolls out on display that you could actually play with and touch their hair and stuff and this doll always had like a giant bald spot in the back and her wig was just very thin and i was like mm -mm, that is a doll that i probably will not get i just did not like that but yeah uh truly me number 83 i actually really love this doll so she is going to be up here um I think she's very cute and I love the combination. I love the wig, I love the skin tone, and I love the eye color. Um, and I believe truly me number 115, which we will get to because she's coming up, and was I believe she was a replacement for her because uh, one of the store associates uh, that I talked to told me that it was and I in my opinion, I do prefer the Marie Grace mold better over the Josefina mold, but that's just me. Um, yeah. Okay, what do we have? Truly Me, okay. Truly Me 84 is going to be a C, and the reason why she's up here and not all the way down here, it's because her wig, her wig is cute. Um, it does tend to be a little bit thin in my perspective. Mine, the one that I have is okay but it it can get tangled if you do not take care of it so i try to maintain this doll as good as possible believe me because once her hair is tangled man it is a mess i swear to you it is um but i just i love the just mold so that's why she's up here um okay moving on 
we have truly me number 85 um she is going to be um okay she's not in c but she's gonna be in b and the reason why it's because um i do like her wig i feel like um okay question or if any of you guys have her um are her curls the same as truly me number 44 please let me know i just want to find a comparison um i just yeah dolls like this i just it is it is a lot of work you guys because when i do their hair when i do fix my dolls hair that have like the curly hair like this it is time consuming trust me i take my time with it and it's not always fun so that's why she's right there um okay truly me number 86 she needs no name she is going to be over here um fun fact my boyfriend had her he sold her he regrets it and i really wanted her and she's gone <laughs> oh gosh here we go not these i'm so sorry i'm so sorry if you like colors um colors are i am not a doll collector of colors i do have specific exceptions and i will get to those as soon as we get down here um but yeah Truly me 85, I'm so sorry. No, truly me number 88, I mean, 87, 88. Um, uh, what is this? 89 and 90, I'm sorry, but I've, I have no interest in these dolls whatsoever. The only one that I had interest was truly me number um, 80, 91. And I actually had her, I no longer have her, I sold her um because again her curls i just i just didn't want to keep up with them and she was just kind of sitting there but i did love her combination i love the the super dark skin tone with the gray eyes and the sonali mold oh my gosh you guys this was i love this combination so much um the purple hair i got over it because of her face but eventually she was just there and i was like you know what she might she could do better and in a in a in a home in a better home than with me so she's she's gone um okay so we are actually getting to dolls that i actually don't know i don't know what doll this is i'm assuming these are probably the special edition dolls if you if any of you guys know please let me know which ones these were because i started late in the game i started collecting american girl in 2021 so i do not know any of these four dolls um, this looks like a Josefina mold to me. I really like her outfit, so I, I'm, I'm going to be judging by what I see here, you guys. Um, I really like this doll. I know she's she's a brunette with like brown eyes, but I think she looks really pretty in that outfit. This looks just like Truly Me 83, and she looks gorgeous in this outfit. So she's going to be up here for me. I know I already put this one here, but I'm putting her back over here because I really like this outfit. <laughs> um, I really like this doll too. I just don't like the outfits. Um, I know this looks like truly me. What is it? Truly me. Um, 67. I might be wrong. Let me know. Um, I don't like the super pink outfit. That's that's just not for me. But yeah, she's cute. Um, this looks like Truly Me 84, and she's going to go right there. I like the outfits, but just the wig, I'm not a super huge fan. Um, I know who this is. This is a Sugar Plum Fairy, and, um, she's super cute, so she's gonna go in B, just because I wasn't a fan of the outfits, but I do like the doll. The Winter Princesses, okay, um... I'm actually going to put this doll right here because of the outfits and I actually like that they mixed like pink into her hair she's super cute and yeah I actually wish that I would have gotten her because I actually have this doll I have the blonde girl and believe it or not she's actually stored away because I don't have room one and two I just never bonded with her so She's kind of put away except the outfit i actually took that out because i have it on one of my other dolls now um oh this is 
these are the ballerina ones. I actually have one, which is truly me number 84, but they did not put her here. Um, yeah, I didn't care for this doll. Uh, that's why I got number 84, but I kind of wish I would have gotten uh, one of the other ones. Um, but yeah, I, the outfit's very cute though. It looks super, super cute. If you guys have this doll with the outfit, I highly recommend putting the outfit on Isabel. It looks really, really cute. Oh, jeez. This color doll, I really wanted her at the beginning, but then she just kind of faded away in my, in my list of wanting dolls. I just, I eventually just, I was like, eh, no, I don't think I'm going to get her. She, she was super cute, though. I did like the black hair in between the blue, which is really weird because the only other color doll that I liked was this one. But she actually called my name, but then eventually it just kind of faded. Okay, um, I think we are finally moving on to the new Truly Me's. Uh, Truly Me 100, I'm gonna go, you know, these are very recent. Everybody has seen these. Um, don't really care for this doll too much. I think this is probably Truly Me 22 or 27. It just looks like it. Uh... Jeez, this doll I do not like. I do not like the color in her hair. I like the face and I like the color eyes, but just not the color of the hair. Um, this doll is just, I think this is truly me 27 and I think this is truly me 22. I might be wrong, but nothing special except the lashes, you guys. Um, yeah, I don't really, this doll didn't call my name. I don't like this boy. Um, this is truly me number 104. I like the other boys. I like the ones that they had before. And now we only have two instead of four. So yeah, there's that. This is truly me number 106. Uh, she's literally the exact same doll I, I think as 85 and except just the lashes. I've seen her in person. She's cute, but uh, not a doll. I don't plan to get her. Uh, truly me 107. This is a Josefina mold. I think don't really care for her too much Truly me 108. I think this is the one that my friend got and I actually think she's cute because I think she's a Joss mold So she's really cute Um, let's see truly me 109. Okay, so I know some people do not like this doll But I actually really like her I actually have seen her in person and I can actually get by with these highlights, these pink highlights, just because the Josefina mold with the gray eyes just looks so beautiful, you guys. Um, Truly Me number 110. I actually really want this doll, um, but I have to work around the colors. I am not a huge fan, but I do love the new freckle pattern that she has, the light skin and the just mold with the blue eyes. It finally was made. I think it's really cute. Um, if I can ever get past the color streaks here, oh gosh, I, I might get her in my cave one day, but I don't know. Oh, this is truly me 84. I swear to God, this is truly me 111 is truly me 84, just with lashes. So she is down here. Um, truly me 112. Truly me 112 is actually going to be all the way up here. Because I saw this doll before they actually released the new Truly Me's, uh, the new 25 Truly Me dolls. This was the doll that I really, really, really wanted. And I wish I would have gotten, um, well, I wish I would have gotten her too, um, along with my purchase. I might eventually go back and get her, but not right now. Uh, my boyfriend actually really wants her too. Funny story. Uh, this boy is actually cute. He is, he, he's cute. Um, I do like the Sonali mold. I love his little hair. Um, he, he is very cute. So, he's there. Okay, so now we are getting to my baby girl. Okay, <laughs> this is truly me 115, you guys. And as you already know, if you follow me on Instagram or seen my videos, um, I just got her and I just, I love her. I can't, I'm like looking at her right now, like on my shelf and she just looks so cute. So she's all the way up there. All right, you guys, uh, don't come for me. I know that I said I did not like colors, but this doll is an exception because she is a Marie Grace mold with blue eyes. 
she's very very cute again if i can get past the color i i might eventually one day get her who knows okay we have truly me 118 truly me 118 is all the way at the top of my list i really want this stall i am planning to get this stall maybe sometime next year um funny story is that when i first saw the um the new uh magazine for all the dolls i actually thought that this doll uh was actually the joss mold or the josefina mold and i paid no attention to her i was like oh you know whatever and then closely looking and seeing her in person i just fell in love with this doll she's so cute she's the marie grace mold with like the darker tan skin with the brown hair and brown eyes she's 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 in she's so cute truly me 118 oh gosh she is just so freaking cute i love this doll i love this combination that they did with the light skin the nail mold and the hazel eyes and the hair it just it just looks so beautiful to me i love her oh gosh uh oh i'm sorry you guys but if there was a doll that i did not like out of this entire collection from the new dolls is this one truly me 119 i don't like anything about this doll it, it's the hair it's it's the hair i'm gonna i'm sorry i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie it's just the hair don't like it uh same thing with this one she would have been super cute with maybe different maybe just all black hair or something but this not for me oh wait no um this is truly me 121 this is the one that like one of my really good friends got um she's a joss mold so she's actually really cute i really love her um so she's actually up here she was one of the dolls that i actually did plan to get i did think she was very cute um moving on okay we're almost at the end of the list you guys it's been a long video i said that it wasn't gonna be so i'm very sorry but I really wanted to do this to show you guys what I thought. Truly Me 122 is going to be all the way at the top of my list. She is a doll. She's the first doll that I saw that I really wanted to get. But unfortunately, Miss Ella over here, Truly Me 115, stole my heart and I took her instead of her. But don't worry, she will be coming home with me eventually one day. Um, getting to the last, uh, Truly Me 123, I saw her and I thought she was freaking darling because I am a huge supporter and lover of um, the McKenna mold. I love it. I fell in love with it and I think she's super cute. And oh gosh, uh, probably one of the most controversial dolls is Truly Me 124. <laughs> um, I actually really like this doll and... Um, I love her because she is a Corinne mold and she's the only other Corinne mold that we got um, and the one with no blue highlights, no highlights, no nothing. This should have been Corinne in my opinion. Um, I would have loved it if this was just Corinne but and maybe Corinne should have been truly me 124 because she has colored hair and they're doing all the color hairs but it is what it is right? Nonetheless, I really like her and I plan to eventually get her. I think she's super cute and I do know that she does have kind of different hair than Corinne. I think she has kind of layered hair. She's really cute. So she's there. Finally, last but definitely not least, it is the new Sapphire Splendor doll collector edition for 2022. So if you already know, I am so sorry you guys. I remember getting the Barry member invitation for this doll uh, earlier last month and I was just like, nope, I am so sorry. This is not for me. Um, yeah, I'm just not going to get, I don't plan to get her at all. I don't like the hair again. If she had maybe regular colored hair. It would have maybe been a different thing, but I understand that the color hair is a trend and people, there's some people who really like it. For me, I am not a fan of it at all, so I do not plan to get her. And with that, that concludes our super, super long um, ranking of the Truly Me dolls, you guys. 
And I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching my videos and supporting and leaving those really nice comments. I really appreciate it. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know which dolls are your favorite. Let me know which ones you have. Um, and again, thank you guys for tuning in and I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye.